Hey Catherine, uh, sorry it took me a while to uh, respond to your video. I've just I'm helping my cousin move into his new apartment, which is on I am in right now here in Aurora, Colorado, for the wedding, which is on Sunday, Sunday afternoon. But um, he didn't have internet, and so today what I did was I sat down and just got the internet set up for when him and Rindy move in. So that's why it took so long. But now I've got internet running for them. I've got I'm actually using my cousin's computer to upload this. He's got a little webcam on here. So I'll just give you a quick update of what's been going on this week. I've actually been out here since Monday helping uh, John and Rindy, his fiance, just get some stuff ready for the wedding. On Tuesday, however, they went and got marriage lights and stuff like that met up with the pastor. I didn't really need to go to that, so I went shopping. Uh, you got me a new shirt, uh, Bolt for my Valentine. It's a good uh, hardcore band. Um, I also got myself some new kicks. I like these shoes, globes. Um, they cost me 50 Look at that little skull inside there. Woo! They cost me 50 bucks. Uh, but they're on sale. Uh, they're originally 80. I got them for 50, so I think I did pretty good. Um, next item of discussion is the fact that you need, you are not allowed to hold anything like this, Sweet. or anything else for that matter, especially if that thing is living, because then you get easily distracted and you start rambling, and you do more rambling, less talking. So that is not allowed. So no carrying that around, you know, holding things during the videos, because then you talk more, and ramble less. Um, Today, me and John, I'm really excited for today because me and John got some big plans. Um, tonight is Rindy's bachelorette party here at the apartment, and they're going to kick me and John out. So we're just going to hang out for the evening. The bachelor party is tomorrow night. And so what me and John are going to do is uh, we got a little bit of work to do for the wedding, and then we're going to go to gentlemen's quarters and have some lovely ladies take care of us. Okay, sorry. We actually are going to gentlemen's quarters, but it is not what it sounds like. It is a barber shop just for men, and they do everything there. They shave, they cut your hair, they give you a massage, they put the hot towel on your face, they give you a head massage, they wash your hair, all that business. I've never been there. John's been there two or three times, said it's amazing. So I'm really looking forward to going to that tonight. Um, let's see, what else was I going to do? Oh, I got to answer your question. Um, to answer your question, games I like to play, as you know, I am a closet nerd, so some of the games I like to play are Boulder Dash, where uh, one person looks up a word in the dictionary and then Everybody writes down what they think the definition is, and the person who came up with the word, and I came up with found the word, they write down the real definition. And then the, he's given all the other uh, made-up definitions and reads them off, and everybody has to look and decide, try and figure out which one is the real one. And, you know, if people vote on your definition, uh, which is obviously fake unless you actually know the word, which is rare, but if people vote on your definition, you have uh, points, and you just go until, you know, however long you'll go, and then whoever has the most points wins. Um, the other game I like playing is uh, Trivial Pursuit, because that game is full of useless information, which I love. Love useless information. Um, I also, as you know, I'm a movie buff. I'm a film studies major. And so my uh, third favorite game to play would be probably Seeing It. Because it's a fun game, a lot of movie trivia, stuff like that. Love playing it. Um, let's see. Now, my question to you is... Now, obviously, you and I both have significant others, uh, Bert for you, Ashley for me. However, my question is this. If you could date any one celebrity, whether that be you know, music star or TV star, movie star, anything, if you could date one person, who would it be? My answer? I, for the longest time, I could not pick between two people, Scarlett Johansson and... Michelle Trachtenberg, I think it's the last name, right? Cranenberg. I can't, I can never say her last name. But um, I kind of said to ex uh Scarlett Johansson, because she is beautiful, amazingly beautiful, hot. She's got the classic looks, like um, um, I can't think of her name. Audrey Hepburn. I think Audrey Hepburn and her, her prime was gorgeous. Um, and Scarlett Johansson can have that classic, um, you know, celebrity look to her. So, but she also has very updated look which is very hot however I'm gonna go with Michelle because she is more she's my age and she's also very very hot she's not as well known um, the show that you might or the vid, movie that you would probably recognize from would be Euro Trip uh, she plays the twin sister in that and she is smoking so I now pass it on to you if you could date any celebrity who would it be and why um, yeah and that's kind of the update for now so I will talk to you later peace